In this episode, we're going to take a look at an example of subtraction with borrowing. Let's take our 468 and let's subtract 129. The first thing I always want to do in a subtraction problem is make sure my larger number is in the top position. I'm always going to subtract downwards. The second thing I want to do is make sure that in each of my columns the larger number is also on top. So I want to scan my ones column, my tens column, and my hundreds column. And if any of those situations has a smaller number on top, that tells me I need to borrow. I see already a problem in my ones place. Nine is larger than eight, which means I need to borrow. I'm going to go next door to my tens place, and I'm going to borrow a ten, which will leave five tens left in my tens place. I'm going to give that ten to my ones place, which now leaves me eighteen. Now I'm ready to subtract. Eighteen minus nine gives me nine. Five minus two gives me three. Four minus one also gives me three. Just keep in mind, always subtract going down, and if you can't subtract going down, that's when you need to borrow.